Hello there. So today I want to talk to you about a certain issue with pros.com. And this is uh, just a change they've uh, done recently in terms of ratings. And uh, so I wanted to go through that quickly. First of all, uh, let's go through kind of the basics. When you, you all know that you can rate companies, first of all, that's the blue board. And you go to pros.com, that's blue board. And you see these companies with all their ratings, what they call the LWA likeliness uh, to work again. And, um, and it, again, it's one to five. So we go here, like say we click on this one and we see it's a 3.7. And then when you click on it, you see the details, uh, you know, past five years, it's 3.7 past 12 months. It's a bit lower. So they've had issues. And here you see my work has been accepted, but I was only paid after my note here on blue board two months, two months uh, later than agreed view edit history, basically before you gave a one and, or before she gave a one and now she gave a three. And then you see a lot of these, uh, you know, I'm guessing once she got paid, she changed it to a three cause it's still not, still not a one because she had issues. Um, now th here you don't see it. Let's see if, uh, this one shows a couple other examples because what the company can also do is reply. And, uh, here, in fact, you see, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure working for you. They reply, uh, very often they'll reply to the, um, to the lower ratings as well and give their reasons for it. And anyway, that's the way it works. And then, um, so, you know, and that's good because you can rate the agencies. If they don't treat you well, you can give them a bad rating. And, um, and if they do treat you well, you can give them a good rating. And so that's how they get their ratings of either four point, whatever it is, or, you know, in fact, you have some pretty low ones here, like one and stuff like that, which, and in fact, if you get too many low ones, then, uh, you kind of get kicked off pros.com. Like I know this one, uh, got kicked off. Yeah. Has six ratings an average of 1.7. The outsource has been banned from posting jobs at pros.com. And, uh, and, and so anyway, that's what you have. On the other hand, if you are a translator, you can, you could also get rated. And so how it worked before was basically, so this is mine. It's just the easiest. You, um, you can get reviews and here, wait, oh no, I was already there. Wasn't I? Oh yeah, here you go. But for us, it's called not LWA, but WWA. And these are willingness to work again. And the only thing that happened is, is that they can choose either to give you a review or not to. And there is no, there was no such thing as a negative review. So willingness to work again, yes. But there was no option for no. When you request something, it's either to give you a rating or not to. And so all of these just have yes because they didn't write anything. These are the ones who left the comment. Excellent service provider, excellent work, blah, blah, blah. It's, and you know, it's usually a good thing because it's either a yes or a no thing. And, uh, and so they only write positive things. Now, what's different is they've changed it in that now not only you can give different star ratings to uh, the agencies and the people who hire you, but they can give different star ratings to you. So what does this mean? Let me show you some examples. Let me close some of the tabs, otherwise I'm going to get very confused. Um, but So here's one, and it's only been a recent thing, so this is usually how you'll see it. Um, we see 11 positive reviews, sorry, 11 positive reviews and one rating. Uh, five average rating. Now I know this one because I'm I'm the one who gave the rating. I had I needed someone with some uh, Tibetan to English, uh, short Tibetan to English translation, and he was very helpful. So I I gave him the rating and I gave him five stars. So now he has an average of five stars. It's only one thing. Of course, it shows twelve reviews because he has the other reviews. But as you can see here, it just has a thumbs up. It just means they would work again with them, like a yes or a no thing. But now it's five stars. So what does this mean? First of all, in a way, it's more fair because it means that uh, agencies can rate or whoever you work with, whether it be agencies or other translators, stuff like that, whoever you work with can uh, rate you as well as you rating them. And so rather than just having a yes or a no, you can have, um, a, you know, an average rating, which here is five. Uh, but as, as time goes on, a lot of people might start getting different ratings. However, there are a couple things to keep in mind. First of all, so what if something like this happens again, uh, like here, like the in intertrato and all the, all the bad ratings, you know, and this is a very bad company. And so here, Patrizia and Nicole give a bad, um, rating to this company. What happens? Well, the company, instead of writing a response here, like, uh, like in the other examples, they can decide to go to Patrizia and give her a low rating 
um, okay, she has no feedback, but you know, to give her a low star rating and kind of as a response and being, and then maybe emailing her and saying, oh, until you change your rating for us, I'm not going to change my rating to you. Whatever you give us, I'm going to give you. So, and this, by the way, I haven't seen this happen. This hasn't happened to me, but this is one of the things I kind of got scared of, you know, and, um, so far I don't see it happening also because I feel like the agencies haven't quite figured this out yet for the most part. They're usually a couple steps behind. And so they, um, they haven't figured out uh, that they can rate back or, you know, maybe the games they could play or something. But eventually they probably, they might. And unfortunately, then you can get stuck with uh, trying to play this game. If you want to get a high rating from them, you need, you need to give them a high rating back. And uh, it might end up not being very honest. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So this might be an issue. Um, so what, how do I recommend dealing with it? I think what's going to happen is people are going to be paying a lot more attention to who they get jobs from. Because before, like say you have someone like this who has a very low rating, 2.8 or here, 2.7 with 19 ratings. That's quite low. And they want to hire you for something. And uh, here you say, never paid in time, payment. This person got payment on time, no problems. But invoice paid one month later. You're like, you know what? It's a small job. And uh, I, um, you know, I'm, they're, I'm only getting paid, I don't know, say 20 bucks. Even if they pay me late, I don't care. As long as they pay me, it's a small job. I can get it done quickly. I'll work for them anyway. And, you know, a lot of people might think that, and that's fine. But then say you don't get paid for a month, two months, six months. And so you do want to give them a low rating. So you give them a one, but then they decide to give you a one. Unfortunately, even if it's a small job, a rating for a small job is just as uh, just as bad or just as good. It's just you know just as important as a rating for a big job. It's a rating, and so if they give you a bad rating, even for that twenty dollar job, you kind of think, oh, maybe I shouldn't give them a bad rating, and you know. So hopefully that makes sense. These kind of games you could play back and forth. And, uh, and so you kind of want to make sure, like, what if this J Traducción um, kind of uh, gives a bad rating? And so then this company here, Equivalong, uh, decides to give him a bad rating as a response and, uh, and says, oh, until you change your rating, I'm not doing that. You know, stuff like that could happen. So I do think what's going to happen is people will pay a lot more attention, be a lot more careful with who they do business with, right? So I might say, actually, I don't want to risk getting a bad rating back if I have to give a bad rating to this person. Or the people who get hired be like, you know what, I'll just give them a good rating to make sure that I get a good rating. I don't care if it's honest or not. And, you know, so you could see games like that being played. So I don't know if they're going to do anything. I really don't know what exactly they could do to rectify it. But, um, but you know, just it's something to keep in mind that those issues could happen. Uh, so I do think it's important to, first of all, pay attention, pay a lot more attention to the ratings for any company you work for. Even if it's not through pros, check the blue board at pros. It's the best place to check these ratings. Most companies, pretty much all the companies are on this. And so you can, uh, you can look them up and see how they're rating and, um, and decide if you want to do business with them. And the second thing is, um, I'm not sure exactly how to word this, but you could do something when you ask for a rating from the company. Um, you know, so you don't risk getting a three or a four and said you want to get a five, you could write them something like, oh, uh, you know, please give me your rating if you're willing to work again. Uh, um, you know, I hope I deserve a five star rating. If I don't, please do shoot me an email and, uh, you know, let me know how I can improve next time. Something along those lines. So you kind of make them think, oh, well, if I want to give them a five star rating like here, then that's great. But if I, if they were missing, like if this guy, you know, did, gave me the wrong information or gave me something late, I might want to give him a lower star rating. But if he said, oh, if you can let me know what feedback you have so I can improve next time, then maybe I'll be more likely to just email him, say, you know, you were past deadline. Please don't do that in the future. And then if he's nice about all that, I might, you know, be more tempted to give him a higher rating. So you could try something like that. Um, or, you know, whatever makes you feel more comfortable, but trying to do something along those lines. Here's another example, uh, just to show you how they look. Um, you know, and I would, I would maybe try something like that if you're scared of getting a lower rating. I think for the most part though, look, as long as they're honest and you do a decent job, they're gonna give you a five-star rating. In fact, most of the profiles I've looked through, pretty much all of them, they all look like this. They're all thumbs up until recently, and at, you know, just recently they kind of have 
maybe one or two and they're all five stars because you know for the most part people do decent jobs i would say only if you do something wrong or if you know you've done something wrong should you i mean maybe you shouldn't even ask for the wwa or if you do ask just mention that hey i hope i deserve a five star rating if i don't you know i'd really appreciate if you could email me what exactly you didn't like and i'll be sure to improve next time and uh, so you know i can so i can earn your five star rating something like that i don't I, again I, I haven't tried it yet but i'm just going through my mind of uh, how to deal with it and how to deal with the fact that they could start giving you low ratings and then uh, it can become an issue so anyway hopefully you find this useful and i think it's just something to keep in mind when you're using pros in the future uh, just, yeah, keep this in mind. Keep in mind that they can rate you too. It's not only a willingness to work again, but now it's also a star rating. So you'll want to do a good job. Ideally, this doesn't change much of anything. You still do the best job you can do, and hopefully you can earn your five-star rating. And uh, yeah, but it is a bit of a different dynamic, so it's just something to keep in mind, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.